Whether you've just completed a developer course like my C-Sharp Masterclass or the Android 14 course, or you've been learning on your own, you're probably equipped with some solid programming skills and a few impressive projects in your portfolio. But now you're left asking, what's next? Why is Google not offering me a CTO position yet? What else do they want? Well, there are certain skills that every developer must have in today's day and age to stay competitive in this fast-paced industry. And trust me, missing out on these skills could mean missing out on some pretty big opportunities. I'm Dennis Panyuta, and today we're discussing a very important topic for anyone looking to get into or advance within the software development industry, soft skills and specialization. So what do I mean by soft skills and specialization? In short, get specific skills that prove to companies that you are going to work well with their team and that you are going to be able to fill in a specific need they have. A company is just as strong as its weakest link and you don't want to be that link unless you want to lose your job to some AI anytime soon. Learn to work with a team, to be self-sufficient, and learn some specific skills to specialize your work like backend development or cybersecurity. Let's get into the specifics here and talk about what I believe are the best routes for you to take if you want to look interesting to the big names out there. First up, let's talk about version control, specifically with Git. If you never have to work with any version control software, then I can tell you, know that this is a required skill in essentially every job that exists. Even if you plan on starting your own startup, you will need the skill. Trust me on this one. If you're entering the world of software development, knowing version control is an absolute must. No matter if you're working on a solo project or collaborating with a team, Git helps you manage changes in your code, track revisions and collaborate seamlessly with others. Using Git, you can create branches to experiment with new features without affecting the main code base. This allows you to develop, test and refine your code before merging it back into the main branch. Knowing how to resolve merge conflicts and understanding the flow of code changes in a project is what will make you that invaluable team member that will keep their job. Plus, platforms like GitHub and GitLab are built on Git, so learning it will also enable you to showcase your projects and contribute to open source initiatives. Important if you want to create something you can show off to potential recruiters. Here's a tip. Always commit your work frequently and with descriptive messages. This will save you tons of headaches when trying to track down where a bug was introduced or when you need to revert to a previous state. And your future project manager will thank you as well. Now that you've got your code under control with Git, let's talk about something that every developer will inevitably face. And that's bugs. Debugging is an essential skill in software development. And knowing how to approach bugs methodically can save you hours of frustration. When you encounter a bug, the first step is to remain calm and start by isolating the issue. Use breakpoints to pause the execution of your code and inspect the state of your application at various points. Logging is another powerful tool. By logging variables and states throughout your code, you can trace back the steps that led to the error. To make debugging easier, always aim to write clean, well-structured code. Following principles like solid can help you design systems that are easier to maintain and debug. For instance, the single responsibility principle suggests that every class should have one responsibility, making it easier to pinpoint where an issue may lie. Plus, fixing it or even replacing it would be as simple as drag and drop. Finding out how to solve your bug is also easier than ever nowadays, as forums and other platforms keep growing. Not to mention generative AI that is often used even in professional companies. However, be careful with AI, as not only can it introduce new bugs because of its lack of context for your overall program, but also make sure not to give it sensitive information about your company. You don't want to be the developer leaking tons of customer data just because you want a ChatGPT to give you a quick SQL line to implement. Give it fake data or an approximation of your real code. This will still get you the results you need without risking anything. Moving on to a skill that is becoming increasingly important in the software development world, and that is data analysis. So in today's data-driven environment, the ability to understand and work with data is a necessity. 
Learning SQL and applying that to your next project will greatly improve your chances in your next interview. Why not try yourself with a project that requires such a skill, like a fake social media site? Who knows? Maybe you put together something so good that can even get some users on it and compete against the big guys. You can dream, right? This brings me to Simply Learn's Data Analyst program, which is designed to give you the tools and knowledge to handle any data easily. You'll learn SQL, R, Python, and data visualization tools like Tableau, all of which are crucial for making data-driven decisions in your software projects. Whether you're optimizing an app's performance, analyzing user behavior, or predicting future trends, these skills will set you apart in the job market. Imagine being able to pull in data from your application, analyze it, and then use that information to make informed decision on features or optimizations. That's the kind of edge that makes you not just a developer, but a key component in your organization's success. Make sure to check the eligibility criteria below though, because some of these courses do have some requirements for students to have before they can enroll in the course. You should be able to find them here. I recommend the Simply Learn Data Analyst course because it has 35,000 learners with a 4.5 star rating. Simply Learn's platform has received great ratings on Trustpilot, Course Report, and SwitchUp. And Simply Learn has also been reviewed and recommended by Forbes. However, that does sound like a lot of work. Work that to even be remotely possible to complete needs to be done in a well-structured and planned out way. For that, let's talk about Agile methodologies. Agile has become the go-to approach for managing software projects. Agile methodologies like Scrum and Kanban focus on iterative development, continuous feedback and adaptability. And those have become skills that every software company is requiring. And trust me, even they don't explicitly ask for it. They will require it behind the scenes though. So better get that proficient in Agile methodologies tag in your resume before you start sending it out. By adopting Agile, teams can respond to changes more effectively and ensure that the product evolves based on user feedback and changing requirements. Whether you're a junior developer or even for senior developers, understanding how Agile works and being able to contribute to Agile practices will significantly boost your value to any team. If you haven't yet, I recommend familiarizing yourself with Agile principles and participating in Scrum ceremonies like stand-ups, sprint planning, and retrospectives. You can do those by yourself as well. These practices will help you in managing projects better as well as improve team communication and collaboration once you join one or build your own team. All right. Now I need to talk about something that is really important nowadays and that I'm seeing more and more often in job posts everywhere. Cybersecurity. With the increasing number of cyber threats, especially lately, as you must probably already know, this skill has become a must for every company, although learning about cybersecurity is kind of hard. There are plenty of resources online to improve that skill. Simply Learn, for example, has the Certified Ethical Hacking course. Just the name sounds kind of cool. This course teaches you advanced network packet analysis, system penetration testing, and how to build your own network security skills to prevent attacks. And same as before, make sure to always check the eligibility criteria below to see if it applies to you. If you're developing web applications, mobile apps, or any other software, having a solid understanding of potential security vulnerabilities and how to defend against them is pretty necessary. And you can protect your applications from breaches and also build a reputation as a developer who prioritizes security, a trait that's highly valued in today's market. Remember, a single security flaw can be the difference between a successful launch and a catastrophic failure. You decided to become a developer, so in your hands lies the fate of any company you work for. If you make a mistake, you could spell doom to that company. No pressure though, just learn some security basics. Simply Learn also has other cybersecurity courses you can check out over here. So there should be something for you here, no matter what you are looking for. Coming back to data analysis, I've mentioned working with databases as well. Obviously, you can just stick to local databases and work from there. But if you already started doing so, you might as well go the extra mile and learn about cloud computing. Let's talk about that a bit. 
as applications move increasingly to the cloud, knowing how to deploy and manage as well as scale applications in cloud environments is becoming a job role just by itself. AWS, Google Cloud and Azure are among the available options, the biggest modern contenders and are the most likely to land you a job. So instead of getting SQL Server, go visit one of those pages and set up a free server there. Connecting your application to those is easier than it initially seems. So it's worth it to consider it. Besides, there are a ton of courses available on this topic as well. And as this is a constantly evolving industry, they know they need to stay up to date. Here again, Simply Learn offers comprehensive cloud computing courses across all different platforms, AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. If you're interested in becoming an AWS solutions architect, an Azure DevOps expert, or getting proficient in working with Google Cloud, these courses provide you with the skills you need to manage cloud infrastructure effectively. The prerequisites in this one are pretty light too, so make sure to check it out. Understanding cloud services from compute and storage to networking and security allows you to build applications that are scalable, resilient and cost-effective. Plus, with a growing demand for cloud-based solutions, these skills will make you a highly sought-after developer in the industry. Not to mention, cloud certifications from platforms like AWS, Azure or Google Cloud can significantly boost your resume and help you stand out in the competitive job market. Why do you think people celebrate on LinkedIn that they got a certificate? That little certificate will decide if they get a high-paying job or get stuck in the job market. So do yourself a favor and get one as well. And while you're at it, you gotta brag about it on LinkedIn. Why not? And there you have it. These are the top skills you need to enhance your software development career, from version control and debugging to data analysis, cybersecurity, agile methodologies, and cloud computing. These skills will turn you from just a developer to a professional software engineer. If you're serious about leveling up, I highly recommend checking out the courses from Simply Learn that we discussed today. You can find all the links in the description below. And thanks a lot to Simply Learn for sponsoring this video. So whether you want to specialize in data analysis, cybersecurity, or cloud computing, Simply Learn has you covered with industry recognized certifications and hands-on training. And if you stuck all the way to this part of the video, let me give you one last tip. If you want to be a software engineer, if you really want to be a part of this industry and potentially earn over six figure salaries, there is one thing you have to carve into your brain. You will never stop learning. You're committing to being a student for the rest of your life, as missing out on a single month of updates will leave you behind immediately. There's no absolute master senior engineer that knows everything. Whether you're 16 or 60 years old, you'll have to sit down and learn the latest in your industry, be it a new framework, a new library, or even a new language. That is just the way of the software engineer. But hey, isn't that the reason we are here in the first place? Our insatiable desire for new things our curiosity and interest in seeing the latest of the latest tech out there. I get excited every time there is a new framework that improves over the last one. It's fun to stay up to date, or at least it's fun you get the news from the right source, right? So I hope that this source here was enjoyable to watch and I wish you good luck in your career. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.